welcome to this week's edition of Now You Know Sports. I'm Brian Page. And I'm Creighton. And this week we are answering viewer questions. In a mailbag. We've, like, we've accumulated several of these over the seven, eight S years we've been on air. The 7,000 years we've been on air. Since, uh, since, since dawn of time. Yes, yeah, <laughs> since the beginning of time. 6,000 years ago, exactly. And we picked four questions of those thousands and thousands of questions. The best of the questions. The, the, best, the best of. Some of, as most recent as the, you know, the past few weeks, just because of current events that are going on. Um, but we're ready to choose to do this. Tony Rally, hit us up. Hit us up. All right. What Jersey Shore cast member is most likely to play in the NFL? That comes to you from Ronald from Toledo, Ohio. First of all, glad our viewers in Toledo are. Toledo, writing Ohio. In. We got the Midwest representing, which I, I'm really I want that demographic. And to I'm be sure watching. I'm sure Ronald's hurting about LeBron. So yeah, he, uh, yeah, oh yeah. It's true, true. So he's he's on to Jersey Shore. I mean, what else are they gonna do? Let's give him something to th think about. That was horrible. My right. choice. <laughs> My choice has to be Jay Wow. She's already been in the WWE. You know, she slapped around Angelina. I feel like, <laughs> I feel like she could beat me in a fight. And you know, the WWE, they, they really have a great training program for the NFL. Um, I, I, you know, I gotta respect that pick. Mm -hmm. But when I when I look at a, a certain Snooki on the Jersey Shore television program, I compare her to a certain Maurice Jones Drew in the NFL who is a short, compact, but powerful running back. Low center of gravity. Low center of gravity that just runs through defenses, you know, a downhill runner. And also great on the blitz, on the blitz on, pickup. On I the mean, blitz pickup. I mean, I mean, Snooki can, I think she can, she's very versatile. I think she can do all those things very well. Oh, absolutely. Um, absolutely. So th that would be my pick, uh, very versatile running back. Yeah. I think Snooki and Jay Wow easily of those cast members. Top free agents in this upcoming, this upcoming uh, look, kind of offseason. Look for the Pats to be picking up Snooki. Yeah, yeah. All All right. Let's get the next question. <laughs> let's move on. Moving on. Steve Carell is leaving the office. Which athlete can a team least afford to lose? That's from Crystal from Lexington, Kentucky. Got the South. Got the South. We're there. representing Lexington, Kentucky. We're going all over the world. Well, I think I feel like this needs a little more explanation. I feel mm -hmm. like what Crystal was trying to get across is that, you know, Steve Carell carries the office. The show needs him, but he's leaving. What are they going to do? Athletes leave teams. Are free agents mm -hmm. don't extend their contracts. I'm thinking Peyton Manning. Mm -hmm. Sorry, Jim Caldwell. Peyton Manning's really the coach of the Colts. I think that if he leaves, and they're working on the extension, mm -hmm. I think if Peyton Manning leaves, they're hosed. Yeah, I don't think there's any chance he leaves. I think there is a slight chance that Carmelo Anthony leaves the Nuggets uh, in probably by the time the show airs. Um, but he is, he's a very integral part of their team, kind of like LeBron James. If he leaves, uh, that's really going to hurt that team and, and possibly in their playoff chances. I'm sure they might make, they have a pretty solid team otherwise. Uh, but hopefully he sticks around in terms of the sake of that organization, but I don't see him sticking around, so hopefully uh, we'll see what happens with that. Move on to the third question? Absolutely. Question number three. This one's from Your Highness Morgan of Tampa, Florida. If the characters of Glee played a pickup game of basketball, which NBA franchises could they beat? This is a pretty ridiculous question. Absolutely. Uh, your Highness must be a very big Glee fan uh, because, you know, I, I... I feel like I recognize that name. He might... He might be a former owl from a Florida International. Possibly, yeah. I mean, Your Highness, there's only a few out there these days. I feel days. like it's a very rare name. These days, Your Highness is not a very common Ever since term. the 18th century, that name's yeah. kind of fallen yeah. out of favor. Yeah, but you know, somebody in Florida wanted to bring it back, which got to respect it. <laughs> Honestly, respect it. great throwback there. Um, so let's see. We got the classic Glee. On the surface, you'd think ridiculous question. Not You'd think that they wouldn't have a lot, enough height to compete with their modern N NBA team. But but then you think about you think about a certain team in New Jersey, the, such the as the Nets. Nets, the Nets, and uh, you think, you know, can Artie draw, throw a good pick on uh, Brooke Lopez? Could I think Sue so. Sue Sylvester post up uh, Derek Favors? Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, you got that. Artie's got that wheelchair going on, and I mean, who sees that in the NBA these days? You know, I think I think he could really. You well, he might be breaking some knees, you know. Once oh, he's throwing breaking, an breaking ankles on that, that crossover with the wheelchair. It's just going to be unbelievable to watch. I feel like this isn't as ridiculous of a question as I originally thought. The yeah. Glee cast members might... I'm taking be Glee 97-92. It's going to be a close one down to the wire, but I think Glee pulls And out. I mean, honestly, the Glee the crowd for Glee would be significantly better than anyone oh, that showed up in... Better than, M better than any NBA team has currently, obviously. Absolutely, they're crazy. A lot of young men and women. We screaming. need a new question. Yeah, I just, I need to be, I need All a new right. topic. Tony, get too wrapped up in this. Guys, sounds like Carla from Lake Titicaca has a problem. Okay. My dog, she writes, my dog just drank my Four loco. What do I do? Carla, part of our big international audience. Yeah, Lake Titicaca, very far away. Um, what I would say, what I do when my dog does this, which happens almost mm -hmm. on the reg, as, they, as the kids like to say these days. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I would say rush the hospital as soon as possible. 
Uh, I've done it a few times. It's been tough. But when you're in Lake Titicaca, it's tough what to are you going to do? Hospital. What are you going to do? It's tough to find a hospital in general there. So what do you do in that situation? Do we I have feel any? like, sadly, you might be looking for a new dog. I... <laughs> <laughs> you gotta take it to the hospital. You gotta do what your best you can. But I think the moral of that story is don't ask us these serious questions. First of all, don't let your dog it's not have, a serious show. Well, don't let your dog be anywhere near Fort Lauderdale. That's the first piece of it. But sometimes it happens. You know? Sometimes accidents sometimes happen. Sometimes you leave your like one of your twenty four locos just lying on the ground, and your you know your dog or like a squirrel is probably gonna eat it. I mean, this is life. So it's not just some game. For, first step to prevent this: don't don't let your dog have your four loco. That's probably a good. Get idea. your dog to the hospital. What if step so what if the, those two does don't work out? What do you do? Then we're in trouble. Then we're yeah we're in trouble. But again, it's life. You know it's what? Raw. This show is raw. It's real. We don't we don't, we don't have, screw around here. No, this is as this is real. Legit. This is real life. All right. Well, this is sports. I feel like this I'm is, getting riled up. So I think we probably got to take it back you to know me. We're gonna throw it back studio. to the host with you. Yep. It's all you, Brian. All right. We're going back to me. See you later. Adios. <laughs>